What's up, Nicole here with Momentum Accounting. I have a story for you today. So I wanna to tell you about a time that we, a client we work with and how we saved them $15,000 per month. So about four years ago, we were introduced to a security staffing company, $10 million business, about 170 employees in San Francisco. Uh, a family owned business has been around for 40 years. There'd been some embezzlement going on. So a couple of the other family members were taking the business back over. And so when we came on, they had a operations person that was thrown into basically doing the accounting and an admin assistant that was thrown into HR. So when we started working with the business, they had the operations person was using QuickBooks desktop to send out invoices, but nothing more than that. And then they had tried to work or hired a couple of different bookkeepers to come in and try to do a data migration from QuickBooks desktop to QuickBooks online. So they had stuff going on in QuickBooks online. It was basically just a complete mess. The, the business owners hadn't had a set of financial statements in two years, $10 million business. So the first thing we did was we evaluated whether we could do a data migration from QuickBooks Desktop to QuickBooks Online, and we could not get access to QuickBooks Desktop because the previous owner uh, had the password to it, so we were not able to do the migration. And so rather than try to different methods, we said, let's just scrap it and recreate the financial statement. So we recreated the financial statements in Xero um, and basically built, built out their entire accounting function on Xero and Bill.com. Now, we also went to the office and helped them implement some paperless processes so that we could digitize our entire accounting function. Now, when we actually put the financials together, we noticed that the profit margins were declining over time. And so then we started digging in and said, okay, what is impacting that? So we look at the gross profit margin and notice the gross profit margin is declining over time. Okay, so then we start looking at what goes into some of these direct costs on the employee, employee side. And we noticed that the health insurance as a percentage of wages has been going up steadily. So what do we do? We audit the health insurance bill. Well, guess what we found out? That we found out that nobody was responsible for off, they did not have an employee offloading process, which meant that when employees were leaving the company for the last two years, nobody was taking them off health insurance. And, um, and this is a security staffing company, right? You got people coming and going all the time. It's not like people are staying around forever. So they had a ton of employees who had left. Um, there were even employees on there who were deceased. So we uh, found out that they were basically currently paying $15,000 per month if, in health insurance that, that uh, for employees that didn't work there anymore. Over the last two years, it cost them about $270,000 that they should not have paid out. So we ended up working with the business or um, with the health insurance broker to get some, a lot of that money back, not all of it, unfortunately. But my point with all this is that their financials basically led us to find an operational issue. And that operational issue was that leaky bucket on the employee offboarding process. And so we ended up referring in a, HR consultant that we knew to take over that function, um, clean that up, create an offboarding process. And so this was just one of many things that we found with this client. But my point is, is if you're lacking the finance function in your business, you are missing out on so much information to help you improve things and be more profitable. So that's my story time for the day. I absolutely love that telling that story because we made such a big impact for that client. So if you don't know about Momentum Accounting, we are a fractional accounting and finance department for small businesses typically that do one to 10 million in revenue who aren't quite big enough to need a full-time in-house bookkeeper, controller, or CFO, but need a little bit of each of those roles. So feel free to find us at MomentumAccounting.com and I'll see you at the next video.